the final City Pass versus Casper Ruud. It's the final of Monte Carlo for 2024. And both players have had really tough roads to get to this stage. Ruud entered the tournament as the number eight seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Tabillo, but this is no problem getting through in straights. 6-2, 6-4. In the third round, he take on Hercatch, number 10 seed. And after a close first set, he get through in straights. 6-4, 6-2 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Ruud would take on Umber, the number 14 seed, who had the benefit of avoiding Alcaraz, who pulled out of the tournament early. And this was a battle, with Ruud winning the first set and Umber winning the second. Eventually, Ruud running away with the third. 6-3, 4-6, 6-1 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Ruud would take on the world number one, Djokovic, a man that he lost to five times previously, including a couple of clay court matches. And after winning the first and dropping the second, Ruud would eventually win in three. 6-4, 1-6, 6-4 to advance to his first clay court Master 1000 final. Since he passed into the tournament as the number 12 seed and would take on Jera in the first round. But unfortunately for Jera, he came in with an injury and would have to retire in the second set, with Sissipas leading 6-3, 3-2 retirement. In the second round, he took on Echeverry, a very accomplished clay court player who made the quarterfinals of the French Open last year. This is no problem for Sissipas demolishing Echeverry, 6-1, 6 love. In the third round, he took on the number five seed Zverev, a man that he'd played a lot of times on the clay. And after a very close second set, he would eventually win in straights, 7-5, seven, 7-6, seven, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, City Pass would take on the number 15 seed, Hashinov, who had just taken Medvedev out in the previous round. This is no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, six, 6-2, six, to make it to another semifinal in Monte Carlo. In the semifinals, City Pass would play the number two ranked Sinner, who had only lost one match for the entire season. And after being down 4-1 in the third, City Pass would fight back to win, 6-4, 6-4, four, six, six, four, to make it to another final in Monte Carlo. These two have played three times before, with Rude actually leading the head-to-head 2-1, -head including a meeting on clay back in Spain in 2021. However, they did only play once. Last year, Rude got the win there in a straight sets semifinal in Los Cabos, so Rude's really got to like his chance if he's gonna win this this one. Having got the shot quality thanks to Tennis Insights, both guys have been very impressive on serve. 7.7 .7 for Ruud and a 7.8 for City Pass. But on the return, it's Ruud who leads with a 7.4 ahead of City Pass at a 6.6. .6. On the forehand, again, both have been better than the tour average, but City Pass will lead this one with an 8.9 to an 8.3 for Ruud. But on the backhand, it's Ruud with an 8.7 ahead of City Pass's 7.9. Very, very impressive by both guys. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot speed spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter. Link down in the description. Such a fun matchup. The very random matchup considering Djokovic and Sinner were in the semis, but Rude versus City Pass, I love it. But City Pass, I think he's going to win this one. He knows how to win these big trophies, and I think maybe Rude might have played his final by beating Djokovic in the semifinals. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this one.